try to get in there in some of these places, these farms. Are very well laid out for trucks. Scaled in, now I just gotta find the uh, commodity barns. Other driver told me they're right up here, so. I wanna say, I thought it was the bin, this building on the right, the far left, just to spill the back into it, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, I just made a big mistake. I left my windows down at a dairy. Well, I went out to talk to him about which bin to put this stuff in. Now you got plenty of flies in here. Get this stuff all off. It'll scale out. Head on down the road to pick up the next load. So here's where they, they mix all these different commodities. Looks like he's got some apples or something that came rolling out of there. Just dumped that out of the mixer there. Time to go clean this trailer off. I like how that stuff cleans out. It doesn't stick to the trailer at all like compost. Looks like we're gonna be waiting. There's one loading and two waiting in front of me. 
Oh joy. Hopefully uh, they don't run out and I have to wait to grind more. Uh, I guess we'll go on tarp. This is a busy time right now here. This is talking to another truck that was here maybe 40 minutes before me and he said he didn't have to wait. Piling up now. Well, I've been waiting over an hour already. Uh, there are a couple in front of me. Now I'm under the bin, but still gotta wait for them to grind more. Up there. So I will just stay here and wait longer. So this place, tell them exactly the weight I want, pull on here and it's a scale and they load me overhead and they got cameras up there and they tell me to pull up via the radio here. So when they've got enough material, this is actually a pretty decent place to load. Finally done. So put the radio back pull around and tarp, get her paperwork, finally get to get out of here. in town but now oh, I gotta deal with traffic to get to the yard. We've had so much construction in this town this year that trying to find a decent route to get across town has just been bad. So typically this is not the best route, but because of construction, it's a little bit quicker right now. Uh, let's go.
this house was on going on slow. On the shoulder, gonna get by it. Yeah, maybe we can squeeze by. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if your car's broken or you're driving on a flat. Who knows? It's down. Just got to get to the north side of town here and I'm done, so I'm really get impatient <laughs> the last stretch of my drive. Come on, let's go! Let's go home! Back to the yard and I'll park this and I'll go uh, about, what is it, about 40 miles north and unload this in the morning. Oh look, another red light. Come on. And now you can see there their building you know, from the area. That's our north south freeway. It's supposed to connect with I-90. When it's done, I'm gonna bypass that whole little jogger on I did through downtown and be on my way but I'm guessing that's all going to be done for another 10-15 years I'm sure at the pace they're going welcome to Spokane Washington where it takes them 40 years to build us a second freeway it's still probably 10-15 years out won't be enough by the time it's done. Oh, that's what people ask me up on my project truck. There it is. Much to look at right now. Finally, it's a four axle trailer and drop axle on a truck and everything. These things take, seems like forever to air up. But let's go unload the scow feed. Call it a week. When the weather's good, this is not a bad run. I don't mind going to this, this dairy and picking up the feed. But for some reason, <laughs> the guys we do this load for get busy in the winter with other hauls and that's most of the time when they want us to, to do this run and the worst part of it in the winter is this road right here because it's right in between two counties it's always the last to get cleared and the last couple winters I've come through here started this road right up the highway man I'm throwing chains on because there's a couple hills and corners on this thing that that I don't want to get stuck on. So it could be perfectly good in town and on the highway and everything, and then I turn down this road, and it's a whole other world. Uh, well, I'm happy to see there's not a big manure pile here to dodge, and it's, uh, the ground's fairly clean, so that's good. Yeah, sometimes he's got this manure pile all the way out right here. All right, oh, that's hard to 
to see. But I'm going to back into one of those bins there. Yeah, I like to try to get as close to the bin as I can, where when something spills out, it doesn't drop too far out on the ground, but I gotta be far enough away to get my door swung open. Yeah, I think that'll work right there. Yeah, this ground corn's not too bad because it doesn't box out, so I can have it a little bit away from the door so it doesn't come spilling out. Been in here, so I know I fit, but if I can hug this side really tight, I know my door on the other side is going to clear. So I can't see it right now. So I know I'm really tight to this wall, so I know my other side's clearing. Yeah, about right now, when I'm in there, <laughs> I can see my doors in. I'm going to go about as far back as my first axle inside, that's how far I fit. Right about there. So I got to see the little bit against the wall of my brake lights. Okay, turn the puddle over. So, mission accomplished got it all pretty much inside the bin. Here's what I mean by getting that door closed, being far enough from the bin. See, there we go.